Hi, 8th grade. This is lesson 3 of module 7, Solve Systems by Substitution. So in the last lesson, you did solving systems by uh, graphing, and this will be just a different way to solve a system of equations. And the I can statement, I can solve systems of equations by substitution. And they give you a vocabulary here. To substitute means to replace a variable with a number or another expression in an algebraic expression. So we're going to look at that and hopefully that'll make more sense as we go along as well. So let's look at this first one, solve the system. So that's our overall problem and they're gonna take you step by step to do that. So they ask you to first graph it and then they ask you some questions about the two equations that are both set equal to y. They tell you to solve that equation there and then they ask what that representation is E, F, and G, just more questions. So go ahead and pause the video here. Try to work through this on your own before we do it together. All right, so hopefully you've done this or attempted to do it on your own before we work on it together. So they say we're going to solve this system of equations and they want you to first graph it. So I am actually going to pause and graph it so I don't take the time graphing it while we're, the minutes are going. So this is the graph and it, it's so hard to tell from this graph because the small, the scale is small or there is a, a large, I mean, I guess it goes big, but in a small space. So it kind of looks like right there is the, where they intersect. So that would be approximately negative three. I mean, yeah, negative three, positive two. Um, it's hard to tell or close to that, it might even be negative three, negative one, or positive one. So let's look and see. Um, says, so B, since Y equals negative two X minus four and Y equals two X plus eight, so Y equals both of those things. So that tells you something. What do you know about negative two X minus four and two X plus eight at the intersection point of the two lines? So that's where they should be equal to each other. And so that's the point where they are equal to each other. And you can see that from the graph right here, these two lines are the same at the same point right here. Whether that's negative three, two or not, I'm not 100% sure. So let's look at the next section. They're taking you through this step by step, which is super great because it'll give you a better understanding of what's happening when you're doing the substitution. Um, so solve the equation. They set the two equations equal to each other. So if we have negative two X minus four equals two X plus eight, so this, they were saying before, remember this y equals this and y equals this. Well, y equals y, so we can set those two expressions equal to one another. And that's what they're explaining here in the vocabulary. So now we want to solve for x. So let's do this. Let's um, add 4 to both sides. That gives us fewer negatives. So now this is 0. So we have negative 2x equals 2x plus 12. And so now what I can do is I can, I'm, get, I'm trying to get x all by itself. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, get the x's all over on one side of the equal sign. So now this is 0. So now I have negative 2x and negative 2x gives me negative 4x and that equals 12. So if I divide both sides by negative 4, so I end up with a positive x on one side. This is 1, so I just have 1x, which is the same as x. 12 divided by negative 4 is a negative 3. So I know that my x coordinate has to be negative 3. So that's what that solution tells us, that the x coordinate for my ordered pair where the point of intersection
is negative 3. So now E, how can you find the value of the other variable? Well, you have two equations that you know y equals two, either negative 2x minus 4 or 2x plus 8. So you can substitute that negative 3 for x in either one of those equations, and you'll be able to find the value of y. So let's um, write that down. So I can um, substitute the negative 3 for x. Oops. Hold on. I forgot to write the x for x in one of the original equations. To find that value. So let's say I want to do, um, I'll just do the top one. So I have negative 2 times negative 3, so y equals that, um, minus 4. So then y equals negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6 minus 4, so y equals 2. So what does the y value tell you? Well, that's the is the y value in the point of intersections. Check your solution by substituting x and y into both original equations. So again, they're just asking us to look at both of the original equations. Um, we have negative minus 2x, negative 2x minus 4, and then we also have y equals 2x plus 8. So if we substitute that x and y value, so it did come out to be what we thought. Um, x equals negative 3, y equals 2. So our point is negative 3, positive 2. That's our x, y values. So if I want to do this, I'm going to say 2 equals negative 2 times negative 3 minus 4. And then that, um, let's see, 2 equals negative, or positive 6. Oh, hold on. Let's make it right. So here I have um, 2. Does that equal 6 minus 4? Yes, it does. So 2 equals 2, so that tells me it's okay for that one. And then here I'm going to have 2 equals 2 times negative 3 plus 8. So 2 equals, that's a negative 6 plus 8. And we know that this negative 6 plus a positive 8 does give me positive 2. So that means that um, that is the system or the solution to this system of equations. So my x is negative 3, and my y is 2. I just realized after reviewing the video that I spelled substitute wrong, so I'm going to change that right here. Okay, let's go back. So substitute, I put the s or the i and the t in the wrong place. Anyway, so this is the build understanding, you can go on and do the rest of the lesson on your own, and I'll see you in lesson 7.4.